In movie set, a group of people sat nearby, prepared and ready. These were the supporting cast members, and among them was our main protagonist. As he walked towards the scene of the shooting, some people behind him noticed something wrong with the roof. Suddenly, a small pebble fell onto our protagonist's head. Despite the shouts of warning from the others, it was too late. He looked up and the roof collapsed. The concrete and iron railings fell onto him. He got gravely injured and was slipping into unconsciousness. In his last thoughts, he wished that if he were to be born again, he would want to be the protagonist, not a nameless extra. Time passed, and in an apartment somewhere, a seven-month-old infant named Seo Jun lay in his crib. Seo Jun and his parents, Lee Min, Jun, and Yoon Hai were playing with him. And as his father tried to make him remember his face, the boy smiled and babbled. His cute smile caused his mother's heart to flutter. As Yoon Hai commented on their son's cuteness, Min Jun nodded fervently. However, Seo Jun was sleepy and babbled something as he fell asleep looking even cuter. His parents lulled him to sleep, and Seo Jun slipped into a different world. This world was a world of memories. Seo Jun was in this life library, where his memories and abilities from past lives were stored in books. They were stored behind closed doors, heavy and tight. He could only open the doors that his current physical bodies can handle. Seo Jun tried to open a large black door, but it didn't budge. Using a body below the required threshold to absorb knowledge would destroy the body. He imagined a slime reading a book. And since the knowledge was too much for the slime, it got flattened. He concluded that the slime was foolish and gave up on the big black door. The library reshaped itself to present the doors he could open. There was a small blue door which led to the library that was formed in his life as a slime. The foolish slime he thought of before was actually himself. Normally, he would have already opened the door and entered the slow development of a human child frustrated Seo. June, but he noticed a small door next to the blue one. This was the first time he had seen this door. Seo, June opened the small door and found a single black book inside. He put his head inside the door to reach the book, but as he took it out, he bumped his head on the door, which angered him. However, he had the book and opened it to see its contents. It talked about wherever reborn. This was his first life, and it contained the most important memories of that life. Seo Jun thought back on his life and realized there was no time when he had lived as earnestly as he did. Then, with the memories of his first life back, he decided that he should become an actor. But why stop there? He should become a superstar. To become a superstar, he knew he had to do several things since he had been born. The first thing he did was to consistently practice the breathing of an elf. This harmonized the body and made it shine which was why he appeared excessively cute to everyone. For now, he could only open the door for the life when he was a slime. CEO June remembered that time he was a tiny slime who had gotten too close to a dragon while searching for food. The dragon half asleep yawned, which was more than enough to destroy the slime. Three days after that, Seo June was reborn in his current body. Thinking about that irritated Seo June, he picked up two books, one about the time he was a slime and the other about a fairy. A slime could melt into acid, extend tentacles, and change shape. As CEO June read the second book, he remembered the time when he was a mischievous flower fairy. He thought that the stunning looks of a fairy would be useful for an actor, but it was not feasible if the flower died, if the fairy would die with it. Most of the books did not interest Seo Jun, so he browsed through them to find something useful. He found an ability called Slime's Digestion a low-grade ability that could digest anything and convert it into the nutrients needed by the body. There was also the fairy's wand, another low-grade item. It could grab the attention of those who could see fairies, and if he shook the wand while being seen, the people watching would mimic his actions. Seojun thought these two abilities would be useful and simulated the slime's digestion into his body. Then he took the fairy's wand and assimilated it into his hand. He was surprised to see it engraved on his palm, not his fingers. But it was fine, because it would still work just fine. Seo Jun closed his fist, and when he opened it, the fairy's wand in his hand began to glow. His baby instincts kicked in, and he started playing around with his hands. Seo Jun was now in a daycare facility, playing with a strange and creepy-looking doll. While other, more normal toys lay around, he was with other kids and their moms. One woman commented that Seo Jun must eat well since he looked so healthy. Her daughter, Ji, Yoon hadn't eaten anything even that day and was on the underweight side. Suddenly, Seo, Jun started crying because he was hungry. His mother got up almost forgetting it was feeding time. Seeing Seo Jun cry, the other kids also began to cry. A crying baby concert started, and the mothers were flustered as they rushed to bring baby formula and water. 
Seo Joon wondered if he had cried for no reason, but he knew that if he didn't cry, he wouldn't get fed on time. He received his formula milk and began to drink it peacefully. However, the other kids who started crying because of him did not eat or drink anything. Their mothers tried to get to eat something, but there was no result because of the crying. Seo Joon's mother took him to a corner so he could eat peacefully. While drinking milk, he thought to check out his power. Then he faced his palm towards the babies and made it shine. The fairy's wand was activated, and since young children could see everything, their attention was grabbed. They all started looking at Seo Joon with curious eyes, and their mothers were also surprised. Then Seo, Joon shook his hand, and the fairy's wand along with it. The other kids tried to copy him, and as Seo Joon suckled on the formula milk, they did too. Their mothers were shocked and amazed as everyone was following Seo Joon and properly eating their food. They said Seo Joon was amazing, and one woman said this could be called the baby world's mukbang. After a while, a woman approached Yoon, hi, and asked if she could record a video of Seo Joon eating and send it to her. Her daughter Ji Yoon was smaller than kids her age. Because she did not eat well, even the hospital had recommended feeding her more. The woman started crying and Yoon, hi said Seo. Jun was bigger than kids his age because he ate a lot. Seeing her mother cry, Ji Yoon also started to cry, and Seo, Jun got irritated. He thought unnecessary crying, even when one was not hungry, came from a bad mood. To stop it, he used the fairy's wand, but instead of Ji Yoon, he caught everyone else's attention. The kids swarmed Seo Jun, and he was overwhelmed. At home, Yoon Hai told Min, Jun, that everyone copied Seo, Jun, and ate their food at daycare. That day, Min Jun also found it interesting. And then Yoon Hai said they had also called their son the mukbang star of the baby world. But right now, Seo Jun had a slime tube, toy in his hand, and was using it to hit a dragon toy. This was his revenge for his past life. His father was concerned that they should stop him from doing that. Yoon, Hai on the other hand, thought it was fine. Seo Joon was really kind in real life. She told Min Joon that Seo Joon had been briefly flattened by the babies today, but he did not hit anyone and stayed still. Min Joon was shocked upon hearing it, but Yoon Hai said it was not violent. Seo Joon was just so popular that everyone gathered around him. Seo Joon was playing with his toys, and his mother asked if he was excited. Seo Joon shook his hands in excitement, thinking about having revenge on the dragon that killed him earlier. Yoon Hai then told Min Joon that she had already recorded Seo Joon drinking the formula, and now they would have to record him eating baby food. His dad started recording him, and Seo Joon had known exactly where the camera was. He followed it attentively as his mother prepared to feed him. He remembered that he had to use the fairy's wand. Seo Joon had considered that shaking one arm while eating might look suspicious, but he had also never lifted both arms and shook them while eating. Both situations seemed weird to him. Seo Joon thought it didn't really matter. He shook his hands, and Yoon Hai was confused, wondering what he was so excited about. She asked if the food was tasty, and Seo Jun gave a positive reply in his baby words. All three of them were happy, and the recording concluded. Yoon Hai sent the recorded videos to Ji, Yoon's mom, who was happy to receive them. After a few minutes, Yoon Hai received a message from her stating that Ji Yoon had eaten all her food after two weeks. She was thanking Yoon Hai and Seo Jun because the recorded videos had improved Ji Yoon's diet. The hospital had complimented them, and it didn't end there. Other moms had also reported that their kids now ate better thanks to Seo Joon. Seeing their mother's laughter, the kids also laughed. Seo Joon was also impressed with this. The fairy's wand ability had proven effective, even through recorded videos. He thought that if that was the case, it would be easier for him to become a superstar. Seo Joon was happy, and he hugged his licking doll. But this creeped out the other kids, so they kept their distance from him. Then, a woman named Min, Ju, asked Yoon. 
Hi, if she would be fine with uploading Seo Jun videos to YouTube. She explained that she used YouTube to upload videos of her daughter and had accidentally mentioned online that her daughter Mina was eating well these days. Yoon Hai said it was still fine since she didn't take Seo Jun name. But Min Ju replied that because of that, she had received a lot of comments from parents about the secrets to making their babies eat their food. She hadn't talked about Seo Jun videos, but had mentioned the food brands and recipes that they used. It was the same for everyone in the daycare. They all use the elephant brand. The woman asked Yoon, Hai to consider this. If she uploaded those videos, she would be helping a lot of fellow mothers. Yoon Hai understood where she was coming from, but wasn't sure about putting Seo Jun face on the internet. If Seo Jun could talk, she would ask him, and she didn't know that he would immediately agree to. As she looked at Seo Jun, she found him playing with the Lick King doll. She couldn't make a decision and said that she would like to consult with her husband first. The woman who suggested the idea also said that it would be nice to give it a lot of thought. In an office building, Min Jun was watching a picture of Seo Jun holding an orc doll. He thought that his son was growing up too quickly. Someone approached him from behind and recognized Seo Jun. This person was the one who gave him the orc doll, and he was glad to see that Seo Jun still liked it. He was Kim. He sang a mutual friend of Min, Jun and Yoon, hi. Min, Jun had a headache just by thinking about it, and he sang laughed when he gave that toy. He thought that Seo, Jun would cry upon seeing it, but instead of crying, he took a liking to the toy. Then he started playing with only the scary toys and discarded what would appeal to normal kids. This was a shock to both Min, Jun, and he sang. Shortly after that, Yoon Hai gave, he sang an earful about the types of toys one should give an infant. He sang said that Seo, Jun really had unique tastes, and Min. Jun said that the orc doll had become a mandatory doll. Now, Min. Jun started showing his friend the videos of Seo, Jun eating food, and asked why Seo Jun was waving his hands. Min. Jun said that he was really excited to eat, but he sang didn't think that was the case. He said that maybe Seo, Jun liked the camera and was waving his hands because that excited him. Min Jun hadn't thought of this before, and he saw that this was a good explanation too. Back at home, Min Jun was playing with Seo Jun. He was playing the role of Lich King at, and it wasn't a surprise that the person who gave him that script was he sang. Seo Jun was really happy, but Min Jun decided that these dialogues were far too cringy for him to say out loud. But Seo Jun grabbed the piece of paper and handed it to his father again. Min Jun had no choice but to keep acting, and he read the lines, but he didn't put in any effort, and Seo Jun booed him. Yoon Hai laughed and said that their son wanted him to put more emotion into his dialogue, but Min Jun wasn't amused. Yoon Hai said that Seo Jun also liked to play with. He sang a lot. Seo Jun was getting irritated that his father was talking with his mother and not paying attention to him. He made an irritated sound, and Min Jun got back to playing with him. The game ended, and the Lich King was defeated. Seo Jun was still a kid, and sometimes a child's instincts overpowered his brain. He was also happy that he won and thought he was cool. Yoon, Hai then asked her husband about uploading the video, but she was concerned if Seo Jun wouldn't like it when he grew up. Min, Jun laughed and said it was no big deal. It was just a video of his childhood, and by the time Seo Jun grew up, it would be forgotten. Yoon, Hai was still worried, and Min, Jun told her about what he heard from Yi Sang. There was a possibility that Seo Jun liked being in front of a camera. Normally, he was very calm and eating, but when they did it with a camera, he got excited and shook his arms too. But still, there was a question in Yoon. Hai's mind. Min Jun said that Seo Jun was babbling about his acting not being good earlier, and they both suddenly realized something. Min Jun said that their son would be really amazing if he realized his acting was bad. Yoon Hai said that Seo Jun couldn't even understand what he heard right now, and Seo Jun thought that he could. Min Jun was excited and said that their son was a genius, and Yoon Hai also agreed. The father was really excited and thought they should get Seo Jun into acting. Yoon Hai took this as an affirmation from her husband to upload Seo Jun's videos on YouTube. Min Jun said it was fine as it had worked earlier too, and if it helped some more mothers, it would be a good thing. Yoon Hai contacted her friend Min Ju and told her that she was going to upload the video. Her friend told her to create a channel with a name and add videos with titles in both English and Korean. Min Jun thought that if they had to name the channel in English, they should simply call it Seo Jun, but they ended up naming their channel Jun and uploaded the two videos. 
But what happened next changed their entire life. The video became a global hit in just a few hours. Mothers all across the world showed it to their infants, and they ate their food properly. After that, Seo Joon's father was carrying him into their living room, and the loud sounds of notifications filled the room. Min Joon asked Yoon Hai why so many messages were coming, and even Seo Joon found them too loud. Yoon Hai was also overwhelmed and muted the notifications for the time being. At first, she thought only those who knew Seo, Joon were messaging her, but then her friend Min. Ju asked her to go and check her YouTube channel because something even crazier was happening there. Seo Joon was hungry, but when he heard about YouTube, he decided to delay his crying for a bit. Seo Joon had known about YouTube from his previous life. He understood that even non-celebrities could become famous on this platform, as Min Joon and Yoon Hai watched the videos and the comment events that were, they were shocked and even scared. The videos of Seo Joon eating had garnered over 1 million likes in just one night. Min Joo called Yoon Hai, who asked her in disbelief how this had happened. Min Joon, equally excited, replied that Seo Joon had become a star overnight. However, Seo Joon was getting hungry again and couldn't control it any longer. As Min Joon told Yoon Hai to apply for profits, she stammered not having expected such a development. She asked the call to her husband, who asked if there weren't any requirements for that. He had heard that it was challenging to earn profits from YouTube in such a short period of time, but Min Joon assured him that it was perfectly fine. Seo Joon channel had already crossed the subscriber count and watched time criteria. In just one night, he had over 200 000 subscribers. Yoon Hai was too stunned to speak. When she showed it to her husband, his reaction was the same. But then Seo Joon inhaled and let out a loud cry, shocking everyone. Min Joon hurriedly took him away, and Yoon Hai continued to chat with her friend a bit longer in the kitchen. Bit longer. Min Joon prepared formula milk for Seo Joon but he still couldn't wrap his head around what had just happened. As Seo Joon enjoyed the milk, his father took him out, and they learned that Yoon Hai had applied for profits. Once it was approved, ads would be put in their videos. Min Joon couldn't understand everything written in the comments and asked Yoon Hai to interpret them. Since Yoon Hai was a Korean tutor for foreigners, she could tell that people were saying their kids had started eating properly after seeing Seo Joon's video. Even kids who were very fussy started eating immediately. Meanwhile, Seo Joon grew uncomfortable with how his father was holding him and slapped his hand to get his attention. Min Joon also received any messages and opened up. He sang's message, but that was not all. Seo Joon videos were featured on the online news as well, and neither of the parents could understand how all this could happen in just one night. There were threads about Seo Joon video about helping kids eat but it seemed like only some kids were affected by it. So to find out more about the effects, the parents did a poll to discover the maximum age at which the video worked. The results showed that babies up to 20 months old finished their food when they saw Seo Joon videos. Seo Joon parents were amazed at the result and their collaboration, but Seo Joon thought that the age limit of 20 months was because the fairy's wand was the lowest grade ability. There was a certain amount of mana needed to use any ability in the life library. There were many more abilities besides the fairy's wand that could make all people copy him, but since Seo Joon couldn't open any door apart from the blue door yet, he couldn't retrieve them.